Hello everybody, this is Pat Dennis with Eureka, uh, and I want to take some time today to talk to you about uh, a Eureka release that just came out um, in February of 2020. Uh, this release is called the Gambrels release, and so I want to take just the next five or ten minutes, hopefully, uh, to just walk through some of the new features that are offered as a part of this product release. For those of you that are not familiar with what Eureka is, just in short, what we do is we're a Salesforce native forms, assessments, inspections, and surveys application um, that allows mobile workforces and mobile users to go out into the field to fill out forms, uh, to do inspections, audits, surveys, whatever it might be, um, collect information, be guided through a process, uh, and then map all that data back to Salesforce. And we're able to do that both on or offline. Uh, so we're, we're really all about enabling mobile workforces to be able to, um, to do their jobs and to collect uh, reliable information and good data uh, to pass it back to Salesforce. But for this release, what I want to talk to you about is some of the different features that are offered both on our Eureka mobile application as well as back in Salesforce. They're listed here and I'm going to walk through each of them, but in short, we're going to be talking about a new feature called mobile cards. We're offering users the ability to, to track distances between where they are and where they need to be, as well as route to those places. Uh, we're allowing our mobile users to check in when they arrive, as well as optimize some of the processes that they're doing both when creating new forms in the field, as well as referencing Salesforce records while filling out their different forms. And then I'll show you some information back inside of Salesforce, um, some new settings that we're offering to give people more flexibility when they're setting up Eureka. And in order to do this, I'm going to do it along a story of a property inspection. I have a full property inspection demo here um, on YouTube where I will link to if you want to see it, I'm going to kind of cruise through it very quickly just to get to all the different Gambles features. But in short, what we're going to do is we're going to begin in Salesforce. I'm going to show you some of the data that we have in there, uh, get us oriented around the data model. And then I'm going to jump over to my iPhone where we can open the Eureka mobile application. We'll select a property that we're going to be visiting. We're going to navigate to that property using Google Maps. And then we'll, when we get there, we'll actually conduct a property inspection. And then after we're done, we'll check out and we'll go back to Salesforce. And I'll show you where all the data has landed. Um, but before we do, uh, let me just get us oriented around the very first feature that, um, that we are offering. And it's called mobile cards. And what it is, is as you can see on the left hand side of that black bar in the middle, that was the old, I, uh, that was the old Eureka mobile user interface where we could show people forms that they either have already filled out or need to fill out. And what we rolled out as a part of this Gambrels release is what we call mobile cards. And this allows us to show any record, any object that we have in Salesforce that we want to orient our business process around. So accounts, contacts, tickets, whatever it might be, we can now show those records and then click into them and start filling out forms for each of those particular records. Um, and so to get us actually going here, and let me open up my, uh, my live demo and we'll kind of walk through some examples of this. So like I said, maybe I'm a property management company and I need to actually go out uh, and visit a property um, that I uh, that I'm responsible for inspecting. And so what I can see here on the left hand side of the screen is I've got my Salesforce org which shows all the property records uh, that I'm managing. And then on the right hand side of the screen you see my iOS device uh, with the Eureka mobile app pulled up which is showing me a list of properties uh, that are coming from Salesforce. And today I actually want to visit one of those properties. And so we're going to visit property number 61, which is 3915 Tennyson Street. And so when I click into this property, I can see some basic information uh, about it, as well as some related information, like who the tenants are and some other related lists as well. So this is the information that we're actually going to be updating from the Eureka mobile app. But when we do, what I can see here on my iOS device is I can actually see all those property records that are assigned to me. And what's great about this is because before, like I said, we were oriented around forms, which is great. Uh, and some of our customers are still going to want to use the forms-based user interface. But now we're offering people the ability to show properties or accounts or contacts or whatever it is. Um, so I need to visit Tennyson Street. And so I can see that property right there in the middle. If I want to, I can click expand. And this is going to open it up and show me some more attributes about this particular property. This is just a field set that we're offering folks. Um, that they can configure. So in this case, I can see it's a residential property, it's low rise, uh, and it uh, was built in 1962. So that's all about mobile cards, but now I actually want to go and visit this property. What I 
previously had to do was I would have to navigate there kind of on my own with no support from the mobile application. What I can do now is I can use an optional feature called distance tracking, which is what we see with those green buttons on the right hand side. That map icon is going to show us how far we are from our current location to the property. And we're doing this based on geolocation information, both for the mobile device as well as geolocation on the property record. So you can see here in Salesforce, I have a latitude and longitude data point for this particular location. And so we can see that we're 1.65 miles away from that location. And furthermore, if I want to actually get there, I can click on that map and it's going to punch me out uh, to that particular, uh, to Google Maps, and it will allow me to easily navigate there so I can go do my work. So it makes it very easy for people to be able to get to where they need to go and do the work that we're expecting them to do. So let's assume that when I get there, uh, I successfully navigated and I can just click on this button and start my work and do my inspections. This is a new feature called check-in, whereas before you would just immediately start filling out a form. Here we can require users, this is an optional feature, but we can require users to, to click check-in when they arrive. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to grab the latitude and longitude of them, uh, of the mobile device when they click check-in, as well as the date and time, which gives us some more control and some more uh, auditability uh, with our information and with our people in the field. So I'll click check in, which brings us into uh, a list of forms that we might have for this particular property. In this case, I don't have any forms yet, but I'm going to go ahead and fill one out. So I'm going to click that little green button in the bottom right hand corner. This is going to pull up a list of buttons that are available to me. Uh, before, what this would have shown you was just a list of all the templates that are available to me as a user, which is also great and perhaps still applicable to many Eureka customers. But in the event that we want to streamline this process, we are now offering what is called new form buttons. And these are buttons that are configured by the Eureka administrator in Salesforce that streamlines people's ability to click and start filling out a form. So in this case, I can give them a list of different uh, templates that they actually want to, or that we need to actually use, and they can just click through. And what's great about this is it automatically populates things like the property ID, perhaps the account ID, the contact ID, all three of those IDs. It's all automatic. You don't have, actually have to reference records in Salesforce now to create your form. It's automatically being populated for you. When we get into the form, now I can just start filling out some basic information about my visit today. Like I said, there's another video on YouTube that allows uh, you to see all the different features that I'm going to kind of pass by here, but I want to make sure that we're staying oriented around the Gambles release. In short, though, what we see here is some pre-populated information about the account where I can continue to fill out some questions that are uh, presented to me as the mobile user. I can see a list of tenants here, for example. This is a related list from Salesforce that's being presented to me. And as I go through, I can continue to fill out questions, uh, guided through a process, perhaps given uh, helpful insights about the things that I'm seeing here, standardizing the performance of everybody that I have in the field by giving them uh, really good information. I can collect all different kinds of data, including photos, uh, but I'll proceed on here to the next Gambrels feature, which is called Inform Lookups. This is something that's brand new and we're really excited about it. Basically what this is going to allow us to do is cross-reference information between different lists of, of data inside of the form. And what I mean by that is, as a part of our story here, maybe we want to start filling out some um, units or rooms inside this property. So I might click Add here. And I could say that, you know what, we have a couple of different rooms in this property. One is a kitchen, one is a living room, and one is a bedroom. And so by adding these to the list, what this is ultimately going to do is it's going to populate a list in the units related list here inside of Salesforce when we're done here. Um, but, and, and this has always been possible, but what's available now is when we click on the next uh, page, what we can do is by clicking add here, I can start to reference the units uh, that I just added on the previous page, which is not previously uh, possible with, uh, with earlier versions of Eureka. So by clicking on that unit button, you can see these are the records that I just created inside of, uh, inside of my form here. So I could say maybe in the kitchen, uh, an appliance is broken. And I could take photos if I want to, and I could maybe add a service here, like we need appliance repair an estimated amount for that. Uh, and I could continue to add maybe any items that my organization needs to know about, maybe perhaps damages or things that need to be addressed. So in the bedroom, maybe I need carpets cleaned. Um, and so we can continue to add items here. And when we do so, 
this list is going to fill out. But again, it's really powerful now because we are able to add those property items to the units that we had just added previously. And the most exciting part about this is that it works offline. So even if you're in an offline state and you're adding uh, items to this rooms list, uh, you could reference those items in the property items list um, without needing internet connectivity at all. So I'm just going to finish the assessment here. We'll quickly get a signature uh, and click submit. This is going to bring me back to my forms page. We can see the form that I just filled out has been submitted. I could create new forms if I want to, but I'm done here today. So I'll just click checkout. We'll grab the date and timestamp of that checkout as well as the latitude and longitude and we'll move on. So that is all for the mobile application. You can see quite a few new features that are offered in order to adjust the way that our mobile workforce is seeing the Eureka application and interacting with form data. If I go back to Salesforce here, what we can see is if I refresh my page, any information that we would have changed on the property record itself would be adjusted, as well as we also have all these new records that have been created, like the three units, the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, as well as the property items. And those property items are related to the unit that we just created as well. So we needed carpets cleaned in the bedroom. Again, there's just a lot more complexity that we're offered as a part of being able to create records and create related records and create related records to those related records all inside of a form while offline. And then when we, when we come back online, it pushes all the data back to Salesforce all at once. By jumping into the inspection data tab here, we can see the form that we filled out in its entirety. We can see the discoveries that were created as a part of us filling out that kind of form, uh, the different answers inside of that form. And then we can also see the check-in. This is a new object that we have just generated or that, that are, is added as a part of this latest release, which now shows us the date and time of our check-in, the date and time of our checkout, as well as the distance uh, from our, uh, the distance between the property and the check-in uh, when we, when we stated that we were where we um, were that we had arrived at the property so that's some basic information about the different features that are offered now as a part of Gambrel's finally how do we set all this stuff up this is a brand new feature as well it's called the mobile admin tab this is a whole new set of settings that now you can control uh, as a Eureka administrator so first and foremost you can turn on those mobile cards it's an optional feature and when you do, you can set which object inside of Salesforce you want your people to see. So we did this around the property object. And now we have we can control kind of which properties people can see, which data points about those properties are uh, readily available, as well as which buttons we can create uh, forms from after we uh, arrive on a particular property. We can also set distance tracking. If we want that on, we can turn that on here, which allows our people to navigate. Uh, we can turn things on like check-in, uh, which is also an optional feature. So if we don't want our people to check-in, we can leave that off. Uh, but all of these settings are available to our, our Eureka administrator here inside of Salesforce. And then finally, the other feature that's really important to understand is that our offline data capabilities have become more advanced. So before, what we were able to do uh, on this screen was that we could select which objects inside of Salesforce we wanted to prime to the Eureka mobile device, which would allow us to update records offline. Um, but now we can actually create filters for each of these objects to, to give us more control over which records for each object are going to be primed down. This gives us more control over um, and, uh, and the ability to manage device storage uh, in a better way than we ever have before. So we could create filters here to say that maybe we only want customer accounts, for example, instead of all accounts inside of Salesforce. So a lot of new capabilities here inside of the system, uh, as well as the Eureka mobile app. That's all for today. So thank you so much uh, for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to visit our website or us on the App Exchange. Um, you can visit our website, sorry, uh, to learn more about the Gambrels release, or you can visit us on the App Exchange and install the Gambrels package into your Salesforce environment and start using these features today.